Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently I was asked a question in the comments. How do you add the control panel to File Explorer? And I actually thought that was a valid question and thought it would make a quick video just to show you how you can actually add the control panel to the File Explorer in both Windows 10 and Windows 11 in case you were unaware. Now, before we do that, just a quick recap. Um, your control panel, as many of you may know, is a legacy component and side of the OS. So it does contain numerous legacy tools that help you to manage and obviously maintain your Windows operating system. And if we head over to the settings, especially in Windows 11, um, a lot of the control panel options now are being made available in the settings app, mainly on Windows 11 and to some degree on Windows 10. But now if we head over to the File Explorer, the control panel is not available as a default option in the File Explorer. And as an example, if you are visiting the control panel almost on a daily basis like I do, then it may be valid and viable to have a so-called shortcut for the control panel that you can access directly um, in the File Explorer along with all your other uh, folders and pins and so on. Now, just on a side note, if you want to temporarily um, bring up the control panel in the File Explorer, it's actually simple to do. And you just click on your um, address bar and enter C or control panel and there we go you can open the control panel uh, from there but if you want to permanently add it to the file explorer then it's quite simple we head to the uh, left hand navigation pane we right click and now you'll see show all folders just click on that and there we go it now shows all folders and there we have our control panel so if we click on that, there we go. We can open our control panel. We can change it to large or small icons so you get the general idea. And a nice thing about having the control panel in the File Explorer is that if we actually expand the menu, we get all other options, appearance and personalization, clock and region. So it puts it into its categories, which might be very handy, as mentioned, especially if you are uh, using the control panel on a day-to-day -day basis. And just one thing I've noticed, though, unfortunately, if you show all folders, it does add a little bit more uh, clutter to the um, the navigation pane. But if you are prepared to put up with a little bit more clutter and uh, you are visiting the control panel on a day-to-day -day basis, then having it pinned or having it accessible, actually, in that left-hand navigation pane in the File Explorer, I think, is a nice viable option. And if we head back, and if you want to put things back to how they were, you just right-click on a blank space, um, just toggle off, show all folders, and there we go. Things are back to normal. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.